Long ago, there was a hunter, he who would champion a long forgotten dimension. Through toil and sacrifice, he was able to climb the ranks to level 81, first on the leftovers SP, and then following in his own single player hosting of the same world. Ascension number two! Witness now the ancient footage of him ascending for the first time on a streak that would remain unbroken. Upon the gates of ascension, he breaks his body in the vault dimension to free that world from Iskal. We'll just leave it right there for now. Many moons have passed since that day. We're back. We're over level 80. We're making a new tool and spending tons of gold on jewels. You know, I think we're back in the swing of it. The Leftovers SMP isn't still running, but we are back in the same world. I'm running it on a single player now. And what's the plan? The plan is to take down Harold, finish our base, maybe even invite some friends. And from the beginning, the goal for me was to learn all of the modded mechanics that were available to us and to build with them. And we're gonna continue that. We did it. Oh, we're at level 81. Well, that was easy. And what's happened since the last time we were here? Well, one, I'm not running shaders because I'm not hosting this on a server currently. My computer's running it, which means, well, it's a lot of added load on the CPU. So, you know, we wanna be a little careful about that. Don't pay any attention to that little uh, picture of me behind us. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get to my ascension streak, which is now over. Well, the first one at least, because we're gonna definitely start a new one. I had fun. We're gonna do more, but what's important? Let me show you my new tool. 160% trap disarm chance, 53% item quantity, two and a half blocks of reach. We're over the max, because two and a half is the max you can get in the vault. 135 mining speed 54.6 percent item rarity eight percent copious which is completely irrelevant because we don't have picking 80 percent vanilla immortality is nice and then we have all the affinities in hydro void and that's the tool in terms of resources we're actually pretty broke right now i have 120 gold because i recently died in an ascent and we're kind of recovering echo gems i've been focusing solely on oh well look at that i didn't realize this was ready i did not remember that at all well we might as well take this. Let's claim that, take some XP. And we're done with this one too, which is exactly what I was talking about. We're trying to focus on Echo Gems in here because because of the way that the Paradox was changed in update 13, you now need six Echo Gems in order to get in every time. Well, we need a ton of Echo Gems. And I'm also dumping Echoes into tools right now. For instance, if I wanna update our Copious tool, we're going to need nine Echoing Ingots, which require eight echo gems each that is 72 echo gems per tool you'll see i have 28 bitter lemons in this bag i cooked up all the relics i had accumulated over a very long time i also had about 3,000 relic packets so yeah that took a while we got through it and now we have just a ton of lemons you might also notice our three treasure chests etho i see you I respect you and I'll get there. I mentioned building with modded mechanics and I really haven't showcased much of the stuff I've done on modded farming. But we have a ton of Batania things that I haven't really gone through. We will get into the modded mechanics as they come up from here out. But we've got train casing makers. We've got precision mechanism makers. We've got sturdy sheet makers. We've got brass makers. Heck, I can even show you the brass maker in action. We need a stack of zinc acquired. We need a stack of copper acquired. Let's pop it in. Zinc in here, copper in there. Instantly we're going because we've got an infinite lava source, right? We've got something like 47,000 obsidian because <laughs> I had this running for quite some time on the server. And I've got all my ores here. It doesn't, they don't all get automatically processed here, but I can process many of them here. And it's all off of a single block, which I actually intended to make a video about at some point. This block up here processes like everything in this room um, it's not quite working for some reason. Maybe it's because, oh, I think it's because there's obsidian in here currently. Okay, it's taking the obsidian dust and it's pushing it over here, which is totally incorrect. <laughs> All right, well, well, maybe we'll fix that up and come back. Anyway, <laughs> we do have a functional Certus farm over here and we also have a functional living rock and living wood farm. If we put a stack of stone in here, you'll see we instantly start changing it into living rock using our Meramorphosis on enchanted grass so that's even faster. I literally can't get my camera in there, so that's the view you that's the view you get. And we've got some other stuff. We're turning emeralds into cakes, into mana. We had this working, but somebody broke it and I haven't rebound it. 
Let me see if we can do that right now, actually. I think we shift right click that and shift right click this. And we should be good. I believe that was the only issue with it. I think somebody just broke this one. Yeah? Yeah? <gasps> yeah! And now we just travel the stars all the way back to our base, the Gates of Ascension, where I'm finally ready to talk about how we lost our Ascension streak. It was a sad day, gamers. A very sad day. Oh, and by the way, the Ascension is of course a cosmetic challenge. You can get titles and gear by beating consecutive and tough vaults. Let's take a look at how I lost my sixth one. Ascension six. Just gotta kill the mobs. Easy. That's like my ideal situation with Poison Nova. Now, I'm not completely decided on exactly how we're gonna do this playthrough. I kinda just wanna play with you guys. My concept right now is just to do some chill playthroughs, maybe give you some music, but really not much on the editing side. I've been getting pretty crazy about it with uh, Battlecraft and Cobblemon and trying to push myself there, but I don't think this is the place to do that. I think Iskal's approach is much more uh, just healthy for, for Vault Hunter's play. Because heavy editing, one, in Forge is pretty much a waste of time because you don't have replay mod, so why even do it? And, uh, you know, like, the best you can do is sort of set up camera shots that, like, you use cinematic camera for, maybe? I'll have to see if I can, like, figure out a good way to do something like that, because I don't actually even know how to do it for Forge. Maybe we could do something with that, but even then, like, who cares? We're just... We're just jamming. It's a personal challenge to myself to just make consistent episodes without going crazy. It's what I wanted to do in the beginning of Vault Hunters, but I didn't. It was an amazing experience. I feel like my Vault Hunters series was some of the most fun I've had in Minecraft for sure. And that other, I mean, that's why I'm here, let's be real. Oh, come on, get out of there. Ugh. No! You stole my loot. Wait, how did it how did it give the loot? Did they change that? Is that a thing now? Or did I half loot it? Also, oh my god, we gotta find ornates. That was really good for our elixir. The only thing that is like sort of antithetical to that strategy is the fact that or or goes against it, is that I want to continue the base in the same way that I have been. I think the way to work around that is that will do more like mechanical, technical stuff, combining mods together and such, um, and have fun with that. And then that will take up the place of building in plenty of episodes. And I think that'll, that'll pretty much take care of uh, all the stuff I'm worried about. I am really curious. I would love your guys' help. If this is gonna be more of a let's play, I would love for people to weigh in on you know, what we can do together and how we can, how you can have some community ideas and... So get in the comments. And the day that I can do Cobblemon X Vault Hunters, which is coming, by the way, um, because once it goes data pack, like, well, why, why not? Hello, sirs, you guys are doing so good. Your AI, oh my god. Maybe this is just, like, a trap that they did it this way so that you have to get, like, fired up. Ooh, what's in here? Coins? Ornates? Ornates! Terrifying ornates that are never worth it, pretty much. Ah! Oh, no, please! Oh. Ah! Oh, get me out of there. Oh my god, that, I puckered so hard there. Take that! Jerks. I'm getting this first room. That's it. It's really not even worth that, probably, but... Of course you didn't explode, you jerk. Two down. Three down. Ah, ha, ha. One more. Look how deadly these dudes are. It's crazy. Oh, I almost died. I legitimately like actually did not do well there. <laughs> Oh, it was worth coming a little bit in here, huh? Oh my god. Look at it all. Did they fix this spawner? Why don't I see any spiders? There used to be a spawner over here. I don't like it. <gasps> oh, I don't want to do this. No, I really don't. I, I, it's too dangerous. Plus, we're going to get... 
Oh, but I need the things. Oh, god damn it. All right, fine. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to die. <laughs> no. Oh, I needed the ornate, so I decided to do it. It was a bad idea. There we go. Well, we finished our first ascension. Now, wasn't that a great time? No, no, it wasn't. But this next vault, this next vault was a great time. It was my fourth ascension vault, and it was the most dramatic vault I've had in a long time. Let's take a look, why don't we? And while recording, sometimes it happens that the heroes of old forget to turn their microphone on, and so they call upon me, Vert the editor, editor Vert, to fill in the gaps, to really bring it home, to make sure that everyone's really, really aging while watching my videos. Apparently, my microphone was off, so we're starting here as we try to ascend. I'm gonna have to talk you guys through our creative thing again. Dang it. No, uh, I think we're done here. Bye. We tried. We got what we could. It was an impossible piglin dungeon. They were hitting me for like six hearts. We are out of there. Within this ascended dungeon, we've got three jars so far. We have no arms and three brains, which is insulting. We have three blood vials and we have two scrolls. Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. 21 minutes left. 22 minutes. Adona? We'll take Adona. Oh, this is bad. I should not have done that. I just could have... I may have just screwed myself. Why did I do that? Okay. New plan. We need all the living chests. <laughs> we needed them anyway, but now we need them way more. As long as we finish, even if we get cursed or whatever, it's fine. We can do it. Normal piglin coins. Dang it. As soon as we get our blood vials, we are out of here. I think we probably got them. What are we at? Yep, we're out. Let's go. I need scrolls, we can't leave this. We might have gotten more scrolls there, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we're definitely getting cursed, which is really unfortunate. So we want to basically finish, I think, is actually the better strategy, is just go for as much of a finish as possible. We've actually gotten quite a few living already, and nothing that we need. Sixteen minutes left. We still need all our zombie arms. Done with our files. Good progress on our scrolls, I think. I've got four jars. We need one more jar. Normal. No, oh, why are you coins? I have to leave. What are we at for gilded? We are at four scrolls. Okay, we need two more scrolls. That's not bad. We could get them even right here. Like right about now. No. It's good to remain resilient, too. Break yourself upon me. I see living. And it's 20 of them. Look. Oh, it's a zombie arm, though. We'll take that. We will absolutely take that. All right. What are we hoping for? We're just hoping that we don't get, like, innervated or something, probably. And frail. We have 20 seconds. I need to kill you guys, actually. We also need to get our mana up, please. Hearts full. All right, what are we gonna get? Fading? Oh, come on. Why do I hear crossbow? Okay, well, that was the one we wanted the least, or didn't want the most. Okay, we do have two arms now. Scrolls, we have four. We just need one arm. Two scrolls, one jar. This is, it's still doable, maybe. No, don't touch me. <sighs> oh, and I forgot, feather is the worst for fading. You just take little bits of fall damage every once in a while. Let's um take a moment here and we'll switch to our shield. You have to be a little bit more careful now. We're gonna just hide for a moment. Oh, come on, if we can get our living done here, this would be really nice. Of course, it's a brain and a hide. Dang it. I, that was overkill, but whatever. I did what I had to do. And by that, I mean more than I had to. Okay, we got the arm. We just need gilded and ornates now. I feel like I should bail in this room strategically. Like, we just leave it because there's already mobs, but... 
I'm gonna just check it out. And no, all right, we're out. We're down to needing jars and scrolls. Jar and scrolls. Jar and scrolls, jar and scrolls, jar and scrolls. Come on now, game. In the spirit of Iskal, make it count to the end. Oop, those are gildeds. Not good. Come on, come down. Yes, thank you for coming down. Nothing. Dang it. <gasps> no. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's a wrench in the plan, is those things just coming out whenever they want to. <laughs> and me just falling and losing half a heart whenever. Great, great. Don't touch me. Hmm. Still lost another half a heart. <laughs> I have to be like perfect with my bucket or this is just not gonna go well. Drop downstairs. Real stealthy like. Gotta get in here. Yeah, I know. You're very proud of your stupid bow. Come on. Oh, we got it. We got the scrolls. Okay, we just need one jar. One jar. That's it. We can do this with fading. We can do it. Come on. Let me just double check. Six, ten plus, three plus. Yep. One jar. <gasps> Drop it. Like it's hot. Ugh. That was not very coordinated of me. Oh my god. We need to make those vault apple things. Can't we do that? Where you like can uh, uh, add hearts or something, add temporary hearts, and I don't have any. Oh, I see our needs. Come on. Come on, baby. I'm getting stressed. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, just kill them. How did I get hit? No! Come on, please. Please. No, we didn't get it. Oh god. Oh bad. Oh, that's not good. Not good. Nope. Nope, we're out. Oh, add two minutes to the timer. Okay, that's nice. I'm so scared, dude. I'm so scared now. I don't want to die. I don't want to lose our ascension either. Oh, this is the real bad downstairs room. Oh, there is some ornates in there, though. Do we go for it? We can chip away at them, right? Kind of. The problem is I'm gonna get like an archer or a piglin and it's gonna be mega dangerous all of a sudden. Can I pop a couple of these? Also, what's underneath? Okay. All right, we just do it, I think. Oh, come on. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, I thought I had a better solution than that. I don't think we stay here. Oh, I guess I should hand in what I have. They may get here. I gotta keep my eyes out. Okay, we got a child. Oh, did you get slowed? Idiot. Okay, we go right through. We don't mess with anything. No, I saw him spawn. No shot, dude. I didn't even hear the shot go off. Well, we're down to the bottom of the barrel of resources here, and I'm taking damage. Great. Can I? <laughs> I'll take that. That's awesome, actually. No! We live. We live. We move. Mm. Please, game. Please. I just want an easy, easy POI with a beautiful jar in it. Do you see any jars? Or any warnings? Oh, we do see our nades with two hearts left though. And this is gonna be really dangerous. Uh-huh. Oh my God, dude. No way. I just had to waste that. No, why is there gonna be a champion in here? Come on, step up. Oh, of course, as, as my thing ends. No, no, not from behind. Oh, you, you son of a.
Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, we're definitely gonna die, right? Um, this is gonna happen. All right, I have hydro wood. <gasps> oh! We got the jar. We got the jar. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Okay, there's nothing in this room. We have a minute. Wait, I can't eat anything. We have to go. Oh my god, this is the worst and the coolest and the worst, mostly the worst. I think is worst actually. Yeah, number staying with the worst. I have to just run into Handon. I think. We just have to hope, and I can switch to this because cooldown reduction. Let's just look. We just have to mad dash if we see one. This is gonna be so dangerous just to even get there. 20 seconds, I can't eat anything, oh god. Move. Oh, oh, oh joy, oh rapture. We did it, that was nuts. That was one of the worst faults I've ever done in terms of just challenge. Oh. And we earned our ascension. That was crazy. We've got one more thing that I want to do today, and that is to show you guys my creative progress on the Gates of Ascension. Because right now, the thing that's driving me crazy about this space, I love how it looks, but uh, but look at the storage. Okay, not that part. This part looks sick. But this part, what is that? What is that? And, and what is that? Why is there water right here? That's not necessary. And this stuff, are you kidding me? And well, that's actually kind of cool. We could probably work with that. But this, I don't know. This, definitely not. That, we could do better. So that's what we've got to work on. Let's jump into my creative world and take a look at what I've been calling the storage floor and the continued development of the Gates of Ascension. Here we are on the creative backup of the world where we can see the storage floor. The rather rich and ornate feeling. Does it feel like you're in a really nice hotel? Not a Trump hotel, please don't do that to me. I, I won't do that to you. Uh, don't do that to me, okay? It's just brass, not gold. Don't confuse them. Funny story, for some reason my audio completely cut out while I was recording this for a third time. So, I'm just going to voice over what I imagine Vert is saying right here. And one of the things that I recall him saying is, oh God, I put Trump in my head. Oh God, this build is ruined. Well, let's talk about how this build actually works and why it is the way it is. One, I wanted it to feel as if this ship is a very rich ship. It is something that can travel and teleport and farm and power and maybe is even drawing power from the vault dimension. Perhaps its power is even related to how deeply the vault dimension has been mined. One of the most important aspects and one of the bigger challenging factors to designing something like this is ensuring that you can connect the different modded technologies to power across the entire ship. That's whether or not it's create or applied energistics or mechanism or anything else, if we wanna send fluids or stress or have any local farms on the ship, then we need to be able to hook them into our central storage. And this means that we have to precisely and aesthetically include those mechanics in our designs. And that has definitely been the thing that has taken the most time on this project. Well gang, I'm out of time and our AC has shut down again in my apartment. So like and subscribe and maybe even donate for a new AC. I live in Las Vegas, this stinks. There's a gamer in the house. There's a gamer in the house.